What's up guys, Spiderbot here. Welcome back to Boom Beach episode number two. Now just to update you on where my base is at, I've upgraded all my buildings. I'm still at headquarters level one. I've upgraded uh, the sawmill. I've upgraded everything basically. My sniper tower, I think I upgraded that in the first episode. My gold storage and I've upgraded my landing crafts and my gunboat. So my gunboat is now at level two. Here's the info, so we're at energy 14 now. All right, now before we get started here, I'm uh, going to give you a uh, sort of a little update. There was an update that went out yesterday here on Boom Beach. Now it's version 9.21.1, so January 28th. Uh, there's a new unit, the Medic, so if we go into uh, the landing craft and check it out, we can uh, change the troops, and there's a uh, Medic on level 15 headquarters, so he's got... 500 health, he takes up 5 slots, unit size is 5, uh, 10 minutes to train, training costs 5,000, gold, he's uh, moderate speed, short range, and he heals 25 per second, make love, not war, the medic is opposed to all kinds of violence, instead of grabbing a rifle, he heals other troops to help our cause, so kind of similar to the healer that we see in Clash of Clans. Uh, there's reclaiming, now I don't know what some of this refers to because we're not a high enough level, we haven't experienced yet experienced it yet but uh, reclaiming a masterpiece now yields power powder power powder temporarily doubles the power of any statue uh, they've added 50 that's yes 50 new blackguard bases I mean if we look at some of these bases I mean we've got one two three four four more I think we attacked two I believe last time we have four more right now they had 50 more Wow on top of what they already had Hammerman's headquarters number four has been completely overhauled, but we haven't seen that yet. Blackguard bases now give better victory rewards. Enemy activity log now stores more re battle replays. We haven't been attacked yet, so we don't have any battle replays. And troop training costs are decreased. And uh, there are a bunch of other things like lo uh, leaderboards. Oh, they have leaderboards, right? So they they've localized the leaderboards. So if you're in Canada, well, I'm in Canada. And remember, this app is only available in Canada and Australia, and it was originally available only in Canada for uh, quite some time I think so if we go to the local top CA I mean it's pretty much the same players right they're all the same players you might have um, I think this Yahoo guy who is a number four right here um, he's probably Australia because as soon as we switch over he's he's gone and, and the other ones move up so uh, but that'll be good once the the app actually comes out for everybody um, so anyways, there are a bunch of other uh, visual interface improvements as well. So we're going to carry on here. So again, all my buildings are upgraded. Now I'm going to reinforce my landing crafts. I can add one additional troop here. So let's reinforce these guys. Oops, not that button. Reinforce. Okay, so it's going to take about a minute to reinforce those guys. And uh, we got some gold. The uh, the natives are sending us gold for helping them. So I think what, uh, what my goal is going to be here in Boom Beach is attempt to at each headquarters level attempt to open up as much of the map as possible and attack as many of the bases attack and destroy as many of the bases as possible at that headquarters level okay so i don't want to push ahead to uh, upgrading my headquarters to level two level three i want to see how far i can get in these battles like i still have these other three areas to unlock and i'm gonna i'm going to wait because it does cost gold to perform attacks so I may not be able to open up all three and uh, attack every base here in this session, all right? So that's what we're going to do. So as soon as um, my landing craft are reinforced, we're going to perform an attack and just see if we can uh, destroy these bases, right? So we're going to start with, I mean, we have two level three bases, a level four and a level five. So we're obviously, we're going to start with the level three bases, all right? Because, obviously, <laughs> they're going to be a bit more difficult as we go here. So, let's scout this base here. The Ballistic Threat. So, there's a Ballistic Threat. So, he's got a Sniper Tower and a Mortar. Alright. So, I think... I think what I want to do is try and take out the Mortar with my gunboat. I don't know. I don't know if I... Uh... Or should I take out the Sniper Tower with my gunboat? And that way, my troops will be on the move as they get hit by the Mortar. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's try and take out the sniper tower. That's what this is all about. Let's see what works, right? Okay, so we're going to launch some missiles at the sniper tower. Hopefully we can destroy it. Do we get three missiles? Oh, darn. We only get two missiles. All right. And we're going to bring 
some troops up on this side and some on this side, okay? Because I want to—I don't want the mortar to, uh, you know, basically take out all my troops at once. So there comes the mortar attack. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. The mortar's not too bad. And then these guys all move in. We haven't... I don't think we've lost anything yet. I think we're going to lose some troops here, right here. We're going to lose at least two. Yeah, so we lost two troops there. But that's not... that's not bad. I think, um... That was probably the thing to do, because I don't think we would have destroyed the mortar with the gunboat. We only get two missiles. Uh, the men! The men that you defeated call themselves the Black Guard! Really? Why are they attacking us? Why did they smash our old statues? I don't know, lady. I don't know. I just got here. All right. There we go. We got three casualties. So we have to reinforce our troops here. So let's go back home. And we must reinforce. Reinforce. So it's going to take three minutes. All right. Unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait three minutes. And I'll probably uh, skip ahead a little bit here. All right, we're back, and I think uh, what I'll do next time, because I have uh, another base on my main account, my Spider Bite or whatever account, um, and I'm at uh, Headquarters Level 3, so I've fully upgraded Headquarters Level 3, so once I get to that point here, then I'm going to switch over to that account. So I don't mind using Diamonds, so next time I will use Diamonds to speed up the, uh, the reinforcement of my troops here on Boom Beach. Okay, so that was a successful attack, so we're going to go up here, and uh, the Sniper Bros... Let me guess, there are two snipers. <laughs> Alright, well we know, we know that we can't take out um, a sniper tower with our gunboat, but we will try. We will attack one and uh, then send, hopefully send our troops in to attack that sniper tower first. And we should have some success, but I'm sure we're going to lose some troops. Okay, so let's uh, hit our missiles here on this left sniper tower. And that's it. And then send in our troops on this side. There we go. All right, guys. Go get them. Go. Go. And I think on, uh, I'm not sure if it's headquarters level two or three, we get uh, flares. We get to, to unleash flares on these guys so that we can direct our troops to specific buildings or specific locations. All right, so that worked out well. I mean, we're going to lose probably, what, I think we lost two troops at least, and we do get additional energy once we def once we um, we destroy buildings. So I think um, we'll have to keep that in mind next time. What do the Blackguard want with these peaceful islanders? I don't know. They're being used as forced labor, but what are they digging for? I have no idea. But all I know is that we have victory. Nine hundred gold, six hundred eighty wood, and we had two casualties. So we're gonna have to reinforce. Use our diamonds, right? There we go. Wee! Sweet! Okay, so it's just one gunboat. So we're gonna go reinforce, speed it up. Yes, one diamond. Thank you. At least it's not a one hit click for these guys. Okay, so let's go to um, this next one, which is likely going to be a bit more difficult. We have a uh, rat's nest. This is at X XP level. I think that's the XP level of the base. XP level three. And we're at three, I think. I'm not sure. I uh, would have to go back to the base to check it out. Okay, so now this is the one. This is one where um, it would be nice if you had flares because my troops are going to likely attack those barrel locations, whatever those are, supplies. So they're going to attack the supplies first before attacking the machine gun. And I'm not sure if some of the other troops, you know, like in Clash of Clans, where certain troops go after defenses first, no matter what. I'm not sure if that is the case here in Boom Beach. I would imagine so, that at least one or more of the troops would only target defenses. But uh, anyways, we're going to attack, and uh, I'm going to uh, watch the energy level and just see if we can't use another missile on this uh, machine gun here once we destroy those uh, supply depots or supply storages or whatever. Supply barrels. Okay, so let's... Uh, we'll bring them both in on this side. And so hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. Let's keep an eye on the energy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, can we send another one in? Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it right there. Okay, that's good. I like the fact that uh, you gain energy by uh, from destroying the buildings. And we avoided all the mines, which is good. I mean, <laughs> talk about poor base defense. You want to do a base defense review? Yeah, don't put your mines in a configuration like that. It's just silly. Oh, did I just hit more missiles? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. 
No casualties as well. We just owned that base. That was pretty sweet. All right. So we're doing quite well here. We're doing very well, in fact. So we don't have to reinforce anything. So that's good. And we have one more base to attack here. This is a shell shock. Now it's XP level. Yeah, so we're at XP level three. These guys are at XP level four. So let's go see what this base is about. So we have two mortars and we have two different landing areas. The only problem is I don't I don't want to split my troops up like that. Um, I want all my troops to attack. Ooh, that's going to be tough because if I send... Okay, so if I send my troops in to attack that mortar, are they then going to go proceed to the headquarters before going to this other mortar? So I may have to split them up, send in uh, half my troops, like the one landing craft to that mortar and the one to this mortar. That's unfortunate, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Otherwise... Yeah, I can't guarantee that my troops are going to go from the mortar to the next mortar. So, let's do that. Whatever. Hey, YOLO, baby! If we uh, fail, we can just try again, right? So, I'm going to try... I'm going to try and hit um, the mortars. Uh, yeah, let's hit the same one twice. Why not? Let's hit this one twice. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to send in... We'll send them both in at the same time here. So we're going to send this guy in. We're going to try and send him in as far away as possible so the mortars don't... At, don't, You know, the, the left side mortar doesn't attack the troops on the right side. The right side mortar doesn't attack the troops on the left side. And I'm going to try and hit the missile. Hopefully the mortar on the left gets destroyed and I can use a missile to help with the mortar on the right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Missile. 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 There. Okay. Yes. Yes. I didn't lose... Did I lose anybody? I don't think... I, uh, I might have lost one guy. I can't tell on that left-hand side. No, I don't think I lost anybody. Nice! That was pretty sweet. Shell shock. Victory. No casualties. That was, that was a pretty effective attack right there. Thank you very much. Woo! Okay, so... And we got a lot of gold. I mean, we have quite a bit of gold, so we can open up the other areas. We get some more gold there, and I'm sure the villagers are gonna... There they come. There, there's the boat. The, <laughs> the boats with the gold. All right, so let's open up these other three areas, because we can. So there's a chest. We can get some diamonds. Now we have a level six base, but a level one as well, so a level one is going to be fairly easy, I would imagine. And there we go. There's another chest. Okay, so we've got two level ones, a level four, two level threes, and a level six. This level six is going to be tough, so let's do the ones first. Let's do the heavy barrel. Scout it out. I like scouting out so we can sort of plan it out before we attack. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to send in the landing craft right into the middle so they go after the machine gun. Machine gun's level three, so let's attack. We'll fire a couple missiles into the machine gun first off. Here we go. There's two. And then send in our troops. Hopefully we're right there. I hope. Do not go for the radar buildings. Thank you. Just go for the machine gun. Come on. Come on. Uh, we don't want to lose anybody. We don't want to lose anybody. No. Yes. No casualties again. I mean, it's level one. These level one bases. We're doing... We're doing... Uh, we're doing very well here, I think. For our uh, level, uh, level, what are we at? Level one headquarters. It's not bad. Not bad. Come on, guys. That's it. Way to go. My troops are awesome. Victory. What? The 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 girl's not gonna come on and say anything. Why not? Why not? Come on, girl. Say something. Okay. Might have to split this into two videos. I don't know. 